Hey guys, here's your Iraqi summary for the afternoon. I'm Melanie Hines. I used to be an auditor with Pricewaterhouse. And if you need any freedom strategies, you can email me down below. I get, once again, my links from Mr. Sandman. I cannot click on them. They're not active. But I can just read you the summaries. It says, today, the Iraqi cabinet allocated 56 billion dinar to the defense ministry. 56 billion dinar. I think that's pretty big news. We do know they signed all sorts of memorandums of understanding. We do know that, that Sandman um, is under a non-disclosure agreement, even though he's not invested in the Iraqi dinar because he knows what's going on. So, guys, I think this is really close. Um, President Barzani arrived back in Erbil from Tehran after fruitful talks. Guys, they've been talking to everybody. The, the latest is working with Turkey. Turkey neutralizes PKK members in northern Iraq. Guys, there's so much going on. Now I'm going to go to the traditional summary because I like to give you the quickest summary on the net. Why? Because I know my husband and I are still working, and I know there's a lot of people working really hard. So we start with Frank 26. He said, who's forcing this monetary reform to come out? By Guys, I've been fasting. It's almost four. I have to drink this while I'm getting prepared to read this, so please forgive me. Um, it said, who's forcing this monetary reform to come out, this new exchange rate? The citizens of Iraq? Question mark. Sudani, the prime minister? Question mark. The U.S. Treasury? Question mark. They sure want a windfall, don't they, for the Federal Reserves? The CBI? Question mark. You and I? Of course we do, right? Question mark. And Frank said, the answer is all of the above is forcing it. That's what's wonderful about it. We are all on the same page. We are all in cahoots. We all agree. We all need it. The government needs it. The central bank needs it. The citizens of Iraq need it. You and I need it. We all need it. Everybody needs it. That's why now is the time. And the Holy Spirit told me that this is done. And he confirmed it just a few days ago. Now we've got Yada. I'm not sure who this is, but I'm going to read it to you because I believe everybody has a piece of this. Um, of course, there's a lot of misinformation right now, too. So if it's misinformation, we'll deal with it as we go. I don't read this ahead of time. I want you to judge my reaction, and I can talk about it from my perspective. It's She said the new, or she or he, yada, says the news is outstanding regarding the progress of the Council of Ministers having approved the budget schedules. What is important, the rates were set with the U.S. visit. Council of Ministers approved and amended the rates all before Parliament sees it. We are about to see the rates that the parliament will see at the same time, all by design to keep them from interfering. They said, I'm, whatever the pronoun is, I'm expecting this evening into the morning to see in our expected end. The world awaits this release, and I believe it is upon us. So guys, I hope you're going to join me in celebrating tonight. I'm having, it's Taco Tuesday. I'm having tacos with my hubby. Um, so then we've got Caperoni. I don't know what you think about him, but I'm going to read it. It says, it is critical to understand that if the Central Bank of Iraq plans to end the auctions by the end of the year, there must be a new mechanism in place or there would be no method to maintain stability of the dinar. So for the Central Bank to announce that they plan to end the auctions, they are in essence announcing that they plan to float the dinar. Floating the dinar provides the new tools for the Central Bank to maintain stability. What do you think? Comment down below. Therefore, this announcement to end the auctions confirms, despite what they may say, Iraq will float their currency. Now, if you were on my live stream this morning, you should consider getting on a coffee and conversation or at a minimum watching the replay. I'll put the link down below. I discussed this in detail because of my knowledge of initial public offerings when I worked with Pricewaterhouse, auditing public companies and auditing SEC filings. You know, we did that kind of stuff. Um, so... I'm just saying it's going to float as soon as it hits FedEx, uh, FedEx, as soon as it hits Forex, it'll be floating just like a stock market will, just like anybody who goes public for the first time, right? So then we got walking stick. Um, you cannot have any restriction on your currency if you belong to the SAP. You cannot be on a program rate. A program rate is restricted currency, is it not? Question mark. Sure it is. This is a very advanced system. The SAP has... Um, has the same qualifications as the World Trade Organization. In fact, SAP is part of the World Trade Organization. The restriction on currencies that the World Trade Organization says you cannot have is the same restrictions that SAP, SAP says. Um, they run the same programming systems. Guys, that's a system that he pointed out, a system issue. I just think it's done. 
right? Mark Z comes out and says via PDK, I'm getting more confirmation from different banks that they are testing to make sure their systems are ready. There are different banks practicing. All bank systems are different, guys. Trust me, I've, I've, um, I've worked on audits where they, the company expanded through acquisition and the systems are always different and it's always interesting to make them work together. Um, it says, there are different banks practicing, even, ha even have some reports that they are practicing the call-in process for us to make appointments. That is confirmed from a couple of people. This keeps updating. That is confirmed because there's so much going on. That is confirmed from a couple places. I'm, I'm talking that they are training with full-blown sit-down role-playing process for exchanging as well. I feel we are much closer now that the rank and file in the banks are learning this process and training as well. For those who think this is never going to happen, why would they be training their staff on how to read, understand the currencies we hold, and to exchange them if it weren't going to happen? Good point, Mark. This is so done. Militia Man, article, Iraqi Council of Ministers approves the 2024 budget schedules. The next step would be to take those schedules and deliver them to the House of Representatives. If we see that, that's going to be powerful because everybody's going to be biting their nails because it could very well suggest something could happen prior to that happening. It's a nail biter for sure. I agree. I'm not biting my nails though because I just broke one riding my horse in the wrong on the wrong finger. Um, then there you got Frank 26. It is going to float. There's just no basket. That's all. Um, uh, Yada again. She said this process moved beyond the needs of just Iraq. It had moved to the benefit of 84 countries with contracts with Iraq, the rest of the central banks with dinar in their foreign reserves, and the non-revenue income that will decrease Iraq's dependence on oil from 95% to about 55%. Just one rate adjustment will have this impact. Good point. I'm liking Yada. What do you think? Um, Mark Z had another question. I heard the, dong, the Vietnam dong could be as high as 360. Mark Z's response was, I heard that too, but I think it will be somewhere around the mid two. What do you think? Comment down below. Do you think they're going to go together, the Iraqi dinar or the dong, or do you think one's going to go and the other one's sh soon to follow? I think the Iraqi dinar is the piece to this. It always has been. It's the, it's the key that unlocks the revaluation for some of these other currencies that have had the same thing done to them. Thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me have a drink because I need, I need some food, right? We're going to have fish tacos tonight. What are you having? I didn't expect to fast this long. Um, so guys, I love you all. I hope you will appreciate this. I hope you will subscribe and tap the bell. I hope you will join our community. It's a family, it's a family community where we love each other and encourage each other. So God bless. I hope you have a good night. I hope this is it. I really hope this is it. I could, you know, I just hope this is it. God bless you. Have a great day. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Stay positive, guys. Don't be critical or you might find yourself blocked. And I'm going to be one of the only people who are still here after this happens because I have the freedom strategies and I am implementing the freedom strategies. So if you want to know what that means, you can email me down below and I'll reply with some details and you could find out if you're interested. Bye.